This video is going to go through the use of sound devices in poetry. Um, so it's going to cover the concepts of alliteration, assonance, consonance, and onomatopoeia. Okay. This first slide shows the idea of alliteration. Um, so this is the repetition, the repetition of the first sounds in words. So goodness, gracious, we have the g in goodness and g in gracious. Blind as a bat, we have b in blind and b in bat. We have honey ham, h in honey, and h in ham. The reason I'm saying the sound and not the letter, it might sound strange, um, but alliteration doesn't actually refer to the letter um, because sometimes letters make different sounds. Okay, so dead drum beat, we have d and dr, which are very different. Um, here we have shrinking sun, sh is not the same as s. Okay, so these are not examples of alliteration because these are not actually the same sound. Similarly, um, you can have the same sound represented by different layers. So we have funny phrase, both of those start with f, even though one is ph and one is f, they start with the exact same sound. Cold kicks, one is a c, one is a k, but it's the exact same k sound. Okay, so these are examples of alliteration because we're just talking about the sound, not the actual letters representing the sound. So over here you can see one more example where it says, while I nodded nearly napping, that N sound is repeated over and over again. Suddenly there came a tapping, which is from the Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. Consonants and assonance are very similar to each other. Um, and consonants sounds almost like what it is. It's a repetition of consonant sounds. So you can see the word consonant right in there. Um, but these are in the middle of words. So we already saw consonant sounds, um, like anything but vowels being repeated, like the G sound here being repeated. But these are in the middle or in the end of words. Okay, so strike the ticking clock. We have k, um, the K and then the CK. Um, that same sound being repeated over and over again um, through both of them. Um, this is. Um, a little bit hard to see, but we have um, the th from the beginning being repeated with the th here through and both. Okay, it's the same sound, um, so that's what's being repeated. So if at least one of them is in the middle or at the end, it counts as consonants. Okay, but usually when we talk about, it, we'll talk about ones that are all in the middle, like here. Okay, notice that this th is actually a different sound. So through and them is a different sound, so these do not actually go together, but through and both have the exact same th sound. Okay. Assonance is the repetition of vowel sounds in the middle or ends of words, so now we're talking about vowels. Okay, um, so slow going, both of them have that o in it. Okay, straight ahead um, and a day away. Okay, um, we have day that A sound being repeated down here, day and away. A lot of times these do rhyme, but they don't have to, just like slow going doesn't actually rhyme because it ends in I and G here. And straight ahead and uh, um, so you have to be careful again with the sound, okay? So um, straight is actually going away along with A and away. So straight, day, away, all of that's the same. Ahead is going with the word uh, Okay, ahead and a uh, day away. Both of those make the same sound. This a doesn't repeat with anything. That's a very different. Um, it makes the sound a, ah, which is not repeated anywhere else in this line. So we have straight day and away, all with that same a sound. Ahead a uh, with the same a sound, and then and is just kind of sitting there, um, not repeated with anything. So be careful because all of these do use the same. Um, letter, but they make three different sounds, so we have three different groupings that we have. Okay. Um, so my last note is just to be careful because um, like they can have the same letter, like up here, these have the same letter, down here all these A's um, have the same letter obviously, but they can often make a different sound from each other. Pitter-patter, um, you can see the T being repeated here. So this would be an example of um, consonants with the T being repeated. It's also an example of um, 
alliteration from the last slide, okay, because we have pitter patter both starting with the P. The last term is very different from the others. The others all dealt with um, like sounds being repeated. This one, um, onomatopoeia, is simply a word that represents a sound. So zoom, buzz, whir, woohoo, anything that sounds like um, that represents a sound. Boom over here. These are used quite a bit in comics, but they do get used in poetry as well. Um, they can make poems more lighthearted, depending on how they're actually being used. Um, and the poem that we'll read through a day is one where it's making it a little bit more lighthearted. That's really all that there is to this, um, is any time it's representing a sound, like zoom, buzz, um, it is considered onomatopoeia. Okay, that's the end of the um, slides for new content. I'll also post a uh, video going through the poetry analysis. Thank you for watching.